And he goes without saying, not the start you would have wanted. No, no, definitely um, for uh, for Shrewsbury. They gave us sort of two. Their, their, their game plan was anyway. Gave us sort of two thirds of the pitch, and we we got up the pitch very easily and got up to the final third and around their box, you know, quite comfortably. Uh, um, but then, uh, you know, our final third play was poor. Our crossing was poor right the way through. Um, we let them set. There wasn't enough. Um, uh, um, uh, quality balls into the box. I didn't think, um, and when there was, and probably Lee Brown was maybe you know the most consistent of them in terms of putting them in. When there was, uh, uh, and towards the end as well, it was always a Shrewsbury head that was there first, and that was difficult for us. Uh, and, and similarly, you know, in the final third, there it's very difficult to uh, um, go past people one v one. We didn't, you know necessarily have that from our, our three behind the striker to actually uh, go out and beat somebody so r really you know all, all round our final third play was poor and it cost us today they've got a fantastic goal and a fantastic strike from that was I was behind it and it was in all the way and as I said you know for, for, for them playing five at the back it was pretty easy for us to advance and get far, uh, further up the pitch but similarly then from that position uh, for all the ball we had we didn't get enough strikes on goal um, even with ten men and the balls rolled across the box twice at the end, you know, in injury time or whatever, you know, we've got to be first there. We've got to be putting that ball in. Um, uh, uh, you know, for Marquis, looked like there was one hook that was going in that seemed to be either past the keeper or to the side of him that was that was blocked. But but actual clear cut chances were few and far between, and uh, quality of our crossing, particularly from the right side, I thought was poor. On paper, you had so much attacking talent out there. So you. You disappointed with the chances that you yeah, created. To some degree, they've got to find their feet, and you know those players this early in the season. But you know we have to find our feet quickly. Uh, some new lads, some new combinations. I understand that, but but similarly today, uh, capable of more, particularly in the final third. What crumbs of comfort can you take from it? I, I thought player for player we looked quite strong. I do feel like we've we've got you know, quite a good side and and plenty to work with. But similarly, we've got to be more effective than we were today got made very difficult when you're down to 10 men. What did you think of the McCrory sending off? Yeah, I mean, if you, you did, I asked him coming off, did you catch him? And he said yes. And then if you catch a guy late like that when you've been booked, it's just a bad decision to go for it. Yeah. Um, you know, whatever we say about should theirs, should ours, whatever, you know, on that particular instance, when he's clearing it like that, um, if you're not sure you're going to get there and you're on a booking already, you have to be careful. And, and you know, we, we have no... Uh, 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 no choice other than to uh, um, accept it, and for the for, for, for Ross McCrory, who was a good player and a good lad, but for him to learn from it, you know, it's probably frustration at the situation and the way the game was going. But you know, in that in in, in that particular decision, it wasn't the right thing, and, and uh, just about probably summed up our day. Having said that, uh, even after that, though, we had lots of the ball, and and even with ten men, you know, we still had the majority of it, and you know, probably. Um, just frustrated at the end there, where Ronan struck it, and I think it went off Burge, uh, and and over the over the bar, you know. But but as I said, uh, overall for the first two thirds, you know, we, it was easy for us to advance and dominate the game. But our final third play wasn't good enough. Our, our, you know, our crossing, our shooting, our movement of the ball, our our one v one situations where we're looking to go past people and uh, open things up wasn't there. The opening game, it was worth noting that Luton lost at Fratton Park last year, the opening game, and they went on to storm the league. Should people be too downhearted? Oh, well, I mean, I'm, I'm only talking about today, uh, and obviously losing is frustrating, and, and you know, we, we're looking to do better because, you know, looking man for man by the end of the game, I felt we were capable as well, and, and you know, have, a, have some good players. Uh, but um, as you say, there is a long way to go. I understand that, and, and you know the position, win or lose today, isn't isn't necessarily set. Uh, you know, just individually though today, just talking about that particular game where we had as a wayside, you know, so much of it, and yet, uh, um, particularly in that final third, didn't do enough with it.